Howdy, my name's Joe. Ever since the election back in November, I've been, well, let's call it a little perturbed to be polite, and not for the reason you might think. You see, when Donald Trump won the election, people were saying that he wasn't their president. And before he was inaugurated, almost 70 people in the government boycotted the inauguration because one of their own said that he wasn't the legitimate president. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he was elected using a process that's been in place for almost 200 years, and he was sworn in by just Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. It's good enough for the Chief Justice. It's good enough for me. Now, unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave somewhere and you didn't come out until January 19th, you know that Mr. Trump was not like your average typical politician, and you know he intended to rock the boat. Yeah, he did. As soon as the pomp and ceremony was over, he got to work. One of the things he did, or at least tried to do, was put a temporary hold on immigrants from seven foreign countries. The idea was to take a look at the vetting process to see if maybe we could make it a little better so that when people who have a legitimate reason for being here came here, they'd be coming to a country that's safer than the one when the temporary hold began. But no one paid any attention to that. Everybody was, oh, you're banning the people. That's un-American. That's unconstitutional. I'll tell you what, do me a favor. Pick somebody, have them look through the con through the, the Constitution, and tell me where it says that immigrants from foreign countries are able to come to this country and crash planes into our into our buildings or plant bombs at our sporting events in order to kill innocent people. Where does it say that? Find it and come back and show me. Then pick another person, find the plaque on the Statue of Liberty. You know the one. The one that says, bring me your rebels, your radicals, your activists yearning to kill people who do not have the same beliefs they do. While they're doing that, I have one more thing to discuss. Another thing Mr. Trump did was to nominate a judge to fill vacancy on the Supreme Court. When Barack Obama did that, the Republicans said, well, since he wasn't running the country the way they wanted him to, they're not even going to try to confirm his nominee. They're not even going to bring it up. So now the Republicans have a Republican in the White House, sort of. The Democrats are saying, well, since you didn't want to confirm our nominee, we're not going to confirm yours either. Nah, 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 nah. What are you people in grammar school? Well, since all that happened, he's had a uh, speech in front of the uh, entire Congress. And, uh, well, so as far as I'm concerned, he did a pretty good job of showing them that he could actually be presidential, that he might actually work out being president. Anyway, if uh, you still can't get used to the uh, idea of him being president, a company called Zonko has come up with a product that, well, may not to solve the problem, but it might help you cope with it a little bit. It includes a four-piece kit. It's a four-piece kit that includes a bottle, a binky, binky, a blanket, and a whole package of diapers. Diapers are extra large, so they fit all your... Well, we all know what diapers are for, so I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, the entire kit, all four pieces, can be yours for only $39.99. But wait, that's not going to last the whole four years, is it? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. One more thing. Because you're watching this video today, you're not going to get just one. You're going to get two for the price of one. Two binkies, two bottles, two blankets, and two packages of diapers. But as I was saying before, that's not going to last for the entire four years, is it? Excuse me a second. Thank you. That's not going to last for the entire four years, is it? Where was it? Oh, yeah. Those two kits are not going to last for the entire four years, is it? So, here's what you do. Buy a subscription for $39.99, and Zonko will send you two kits every month for an entire year, and will automatically renew your subscription every year for the next three. But now, here's another problem. What if Mr. Trump serves his entire term, runs again, and is re-elected? You know, there are people that didn't think he was going to get elected the first time. And, uh, well, we all know how well that worked out. Anyway, if he does run again and gets reelected, Zonko will guarantee your price will not increase and they'll renew your subscription every year for the additional four years. Think about that. Eight years, almost 100 months of peace of mind for you and a friend, family member, or coworker for only $39.99 a month. That's less than the cost of a shrink. 
Not that you need one, of course. I just thought I would put that in there in case anybody suggests you might want to get one. These kits are only available for a limited time, and they're going on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you want one, grab your credit card from your wallet, grab your phone, and dial 800-879-6877. Let me give you that to you again to make sure you got it. 800-879-6877. Operators are standing by, so call right now. Well, there you go. I hope I put your situation in perspective, maybe helped you deal with it a little bit. I know your life can be a little hectic, so once in a while, sit back, relax, take a few moments for a cup of joe. Thanks for watching.